In this example of circuit simulation, we are using a series RLC circuit to demonstrate the rate of change of a controlled variable, in this case, capacitor voltage. This circuit highlights the role that damping plays in a circuit's behavior. In this example, damping is a function of the resistance of resistor R3. Changes to the value of R3 will shape the response curve of the capacitor voltage. With no stimulus applied to the input of the system, the capacitor voltage is stable at its current resting point of 0 volts. When we add a 1 volt disturbance to the system and then plot the capacitor voltage response, it moves towards a steady state equal to the input disturbance of 1 volt. Here we see the underdamped response to the step change. Capacitor voltage will eventually settle at the desired level, but as with underdamped systems, overshoot is occurring under these conditions. With circuit simulation, it is easy to see the effects of adding damping to the system. We simply need to change the resistance value of R3. We can now re-simulate the circuit to see the effects of this change on step response to capacitor voltage. Changing component values is quick and easy using this virtual environment. As you can see, the response now has far less overshoot and reaches the desired steady state level much faster than in the first run of the simulation. Another powerful feature provided by circuit simulation is the ability to sweep a component parameter and plot the results of multiple simulation runs all in one step. To do this, we simply configure the sweep analysis and run the simulation. Here are the results of the sweep. Sweeps and nested sweeps provide excellent insight into circuit behavior. It is difficult and very tedious to acquire this kind of information without the use of a simulation tool. Another important feature of a circuit simulation tool is that the user can modify a circuit's design quite easily. In a benchtop lab environment, using real-world components, this is not an easy thing to do. Physical connections would need to be changed. In this example, the controlled variable is being amplified. The non-inverting amplifier has a gain of 3. It is easy to modify this amplifier configuration to provide a gain of negative 3 inverting the polarity of the output. Having completed the desired change in the circuit design, we rerun the simulation to see the output of the circuit under these new conditions. The change in circuit design is reflected in the output waveform shown. These three basic capabilities, changing a component's value, running powerful analyses, and modifying circuit designs, make circuit simulation an excellent tool in the delivery of electronics education.